The hazards of evacuating people in the midst of a pandemic was brought into the forefront when the La Sufria volcano erupted on St. Vincent. Answering the call for assistance in the evacuation efforts, ships from the Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines and Carnival Cruises arrived in St. Vincent Friday morning just as the eruption took place. However, officials had informed evacuees they were required to be vaccinated against COVID-19 before they can board the ship. Vincentian media sources informed that over 16,000 persons in the affected area began evacuating the day before the eruption, some to safer parts of the island. Those evacuated by ship are headed initially to the islands of Barbados and St. Lucia. The UWI Seismic Research Center reported that the major eruption began at 8.41 a.m. on Friday night, April, after months of monitoring the volcano. In a press conference on Thursday, St. Vincent and the Grenadines Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez urged citizens not to panic. Social media posts indicated that people had begun stocking up on food supplies at supermarkets and that some gas stations had run out of gasoline. Meanwhile, although there had been no reports of deaths or injuries at the time of publishing the story, the UWI Seismic Research Center indicated there could be property damage as the ash and debris begin to fall back to the ground. The erupting plume of volcanic ash climbed thousands of feet into the air, and aviation activity had been restricted around St. Vincent. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.